Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video, and today, very excited, this is a very cool action figure, and one that harkens back to the days of the Mirage Classic TMNT books with The Wanderer, not just a no-name wanderer, Michelangelo The Wanderer, and it has gorgeous brand new Kevin Eastman artwork all over the box, Michelangelo looking every bit as awesome as was in issue number 17 of the Mirage comic book line. And the backside shows nice photos along with To Be Continued. We got Savanti Romero coming up and here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode as well. You can pick him up now at Best Buy. And like I said, this specific character figure comes from the TMNT Mirage run of issue number 17 entitled Distractions. And a lot of people had said to me, that doesn't look anything like the cover. That doesn't look anything like the artwork. Well, you have to read it. And yeah, by the end of the issue, Michelangelo definitely resembles what this action figure entails. It's a lot of fun. I highly recommend reading the old issues of TMNT. They were very different. It's not the cartoon. It's definitely not the newer movies. It's just a simplistic tale of revenge. <laughs> and then all the subsequent wacky sci-fi violence that came after it. So highly recommend issue number 17 if you've never picked it up. And it's just an odd end issue because basically it throws you into feudal Japan and you're left going like, what the heck is going on? And Michelangelo has to save a princess from a crazy daimyo. And then what's really cool at the end is that it totally throws you for a loop because it turns out Michelangelo is just writing a short story. He's sitting there talking with his cat Clunk, which by the way, Negatoys, we totally need a Clunk. Michelangelo and the Christmas aliens, right? Let's definitely get that going. And if any of you out there thought, hey, spoilers, you have had 35 years to read this comic book. I bet you don't know that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father as well, right? So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from the NECA Toys Mirage Comics toy line, Eastman and Laird's TMNT, Mikey the Wanderer. So now making your way through all those twisty ties and pull on all those accessories, you're left with a really cool looking figure and then set accessories as well. Which, by the way, he comes with a really long, kind of sort of Donatello bow staff, but it has a knife on the end of it. And that's just pretty cool, right? Simplistic and painted well. Then he comes with a pair of Leonardo swords right are they leo swords he is trying to find his brothers in the comic book at least that's what he says has something befallen them we don't know but these have nice paint as well and then you get a pair of nunchucks and again nice string on them you can twirl it around whirl it around nice paints of course you gotta have mikey's nunchucks and then you have this weapon which whatever this is, <laughs> a blade on a stick. You get a pair of fists, nice paint overall. Then you get open hands and you get weapon holding hands along with a very cool Michelangelo the Wanderer figure. And again, this is definitely gonna be one of those characters, which I can totally understand. If you've never read the Mirage Comics TMNT, if you have no idea what you're looking at, you're gonna sit there and go, it's just a Ninja Turtle in a tunic, basically. He comes with swords. Everybody thought this was Leonardo as well, right? But he is a darker green. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Nice sculpts, right? Very cool to see. Everything just looks good. But again, this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. And I think that this is what makes for a great exclusive. If you know what this is, hunt it down and grab it. If you have no clue, it's not going to make much of a difference in your collection ultimately but you do get some nice articulation in the head he goes every which way the arms are fine until you get to around the bicep in fact on both sides i was not able to move the biceps whatsoever they are completely frozen so yes i will have to heat those up but basically i'm gonna pose this guy out and set him on my shelf and yeah that's gonna be good enough for me it does have some mismatch green pins right that's something i wish that NECA would work on ways to basically 
swivels at the waist, nothing in the ab crunch. The legs, his big chunky thighs and everything else. It's basically the same body type as the Mirage Jim Lawson turtles, right, that we got a few months back. So you'll see the exact same articulation with those, but now he has a little bit different sculpted parts to him here and there. But what's really cool is that all of the weapons that are included, all the different hands, that's what really brings this character to life. Other characters of the book, I can't say that I want action figures for them. Sure, I would definitely get them if you ever made them, but this is kind of one of those standalone figures. Like I said, if you know what this is, then you'll definitely be like, oh yeah, I'm totally going to pick this up, but it's not going to be for everyone. And just if you wanted to see the scaling with the recent foot enforcer, yes, Michelangelo will be in that typical Mirage scaling. So he'll go well with bigger type enemies, right? And just to show you what he looks like with Raphael from the recent Mirage set, you can clearly see the differences and the similarities all in one, right? So distinctly different in the color. Michelangelo is a darker green. Raphael is more of that lighter green. And just to show you, if you wanted to swap the head portraits, it's really not going to go because of that designated skin color. So it's not going to match. And I'm sure they'll do unmasked head portraits sometime in the future. But what I really like is that with this staff now, I'm one step closer for those of you in the know of the Puma Blues, right? For that Raphael story, old man Raphael, one-eyed Raphael, I would love if NECA Toys would make that. Please make that. Baby Manta Ray and all, right? So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys straight from the Mirage Comics toy line, Michelangelo the Wanderer. And you can pick this guy up at Best Buy now. He's been out for a little bit. But I finally just got around to uh, looking at him, and I'm totally stoked on this figure. Again, not going to be for everyone, but for those of you, much like myself, that are huge Mirage TMNT fans, this is definitely a grab. This is pretty darn cool, I have to say. Just harkens back to all those days in the comic book shops, looking at all the Eastman and Laird artworks and stories and... That's really why I like this. But as always, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything TMNT. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, more Mirage. Keep bringing them on. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.